Okay, last try before I use humanity to summon someone to help me. Not a player, but I don't know, I think it's still there or something. Oh come on, I was rolling, at least I was trying to roll, but it didn't want me to do it because fuck PC controls. Oh come on. They can turn around in an instant, I can't. That's fine, balanced, isn't it? Where's Austin? Come on, where's Austin? Oh, he's all the way back there. Yeah, that doesn't fucking stop him from doing shit like that. Get staggered, get staggered. Yeah, that's a good amount of damage we have to go now. Or not, it's more somewhere else. Oh, no, okay, now he's here. Hello! One tea time. I'm not gonna take two. Ah, I was really low there. I have not seen that attack before. Oh, finally. I'm not gonna go into second phase with full HP, no. Okay, let's do this. Now, like I said, it's easy, but it's still not a walk in the park. Like, if you get cocky, you will die. So, let's hope that doesn't happen. No, 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 don't get in, don't get in there. So, basically, now phase two is just be patient and just play it down. And don't do anything stupid. But, I haven't played this game in so long that I actually forgot his moveset. I know some of his attacks from first phase, but I know he has... One attack that shocks in an area, and that's really fucking shit if you're naked. And I forgot which one it was. I think it was a stomping attack. That's an attack I want to see. But it usually jumps after it. But you can still get a hit in a few, few fast enough. I wasn't quite sure if he was going to do a second attack there, I should have gone in. Fuck! Yeah, that's what I meant. If not being stupid. Holy shit, I wasn't quite sure if he was going to go around the pillar this time. Sometimes he does that. That's what, okay, he went around the pillar this time. I said it before, it can happen, I don't know. I'm not get quite getting the fight that I want here. It's because I think I might actually be too careful. And just end up going in in stupid times. I know I can just dance around his. N I can dance around his legs and probably not get hit for for quite some time. But the thing is, I don't have that much health to play with. I don't know. I might just die here actually. But let's see what happens. Yeah, that's his jump. It almost hit me because it has a ridiculous range. If I have armor, I'm a lot more cocky. But nah, I see. I see. Like I said, you can't hit. You can't hit him there, which I just did. Alright, let's go. You can throw a pillar, please. I can hardly see you over there. Thank you. Oh, sad face. Uh, I'm 
pretty sure he can do a second attack after this one. We didn't do this time. Okay, he's halfway down, guys. We, we almost got it. If these pills here didn't exist, I don't know. Yeah, I know I know you can dance around his legs and avoid most of his attacks, but I don't really want to do this. Because I don't have no more pots left or anything, I have to play this safe. Oh they almost hit me. So if you just wait like five minutes with actually unleashing that attack. For one second I thought it was going to jump over to me, but no he didn't. Oh, don't go around there! What are you going to do? What are you doing? Oh, I'm going to miss. Come on, do something. Something that doesn't kill me. Do something that doesn't kill me, come on. Counter-Attack offers his attack. Give me another attack. Something else. This one, maybe. Thank you. Okay, only one more. I know it's two hits, but after the one one at attack, I can get another attack in, even if... If you'd probably hit me afterwards, it doesn't matter, because... There is no afterwards, so I just... Kill him. Or he just moves away. That's also possible. No, if he starts an attack and I get the second attack in, it doesn't matter. Because he's not going to be able to get it off by the time he's dead. Well, he's dead now anyway. Hey, that was fucking pro, wasn't it? Apart from the fact that it wasn't. Now, let's see, I want to check something out before I go in there. Do I even have some of these? I do. I don't even have any arrows, but I have bolts. Well, whatever. Something I need to check out. So let's see. Ah, that looks a lot better with the endurance. Okay, here we go. Grunova. Isn't she sweet? Oop, 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 what's this? It looks weird. Oh, whatever. Die. Oh, isn't that sad? Yep, I just did that. And you know why? Because it's faster than looking at the cutscene. Even though I can skip this cutscene, it's still fast. And it's also, I think, something that not everyone does, because look at this, oh my god. Okay, now that we have this, we are gonna warp to... Look at what we have, we have almost nothing. Agman Tomb, that's shit, in London. Like, like, right now we can warp to five shrines, which is this one I'm at right now, Aino Londo, which is an Aino Londo, and Dagman Tomb, which is also an Aino Londo, so three of the ones we have right now are Aino Londo. Almost Firelink Shrine and Undead Parish, which is right next to Firelink Shrine, so we didn't actually do a whole lot. So what I'm gonna do right now is... Should I go for Four Kings? I don't know which one to go for first. She shouldn't be that hard. But I wanna go there last, probably because of humanity. I want to have as much humanity as possible. Um... What else do we have? We have the whole hell thing. Better chaos. I could do that. Yeah, let's do that. Just go to Filing Shrine, and then we go down to. Yeah, to Quilak. And then go past Quilak.
That's a long load time. There we go. And also, hey guy. You're dead. Because it gives thousand souls. That's simple, isn't it? Oh, I'm sorry, Crest Formula. You're fucking dead. Why? Fram? Really, like I said, we're actually gonna never gonna talk to Fram because of this. And let's get to down there. So we're gonna beat the game without ever talking to Fram. Woo! Theoretically. I know, we, in theory, we did. I mean, the game thinks we did, but whatever. Now we're gonna go back up there again. He's gonna say something about me, about me being You're terrible. Sorry, yeah, he is. You could not be the chosen one. Do, 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 do. Whoops. That was weird. Okay, this time we're actually gonna go through the catacombs. Wait, you're saying why? Did I want to go? I don't know where I wanted to go, what the fuck? I, was, I just said, yeah, I want to go to Quilag, and I was going to fucking go to Quilag, and then I just fucking go to the catacombs like it's tarred, or whatever. Uh, wait a second, Quilag, where is that? Oh yeah, okay, okay, I remember. You sorry, fool. Don't jump there, there we go. You could not be Do you want to fall way down? One. I was gonna regenerate my health. Yeah, that T2 was stupid. But whatever. Do we have more Firekeeper Souls? Oh. I know I could get a Firekeeper Soul in Aina Londo, but then I have to like walk all the way around to get to another bonfire and shit, and I don't really care, so. So there we go. Yeah, it's here, okay. I thought I'm just gonna run in there and fall off the edge like a toad. Like a twonk. Send it back up in case I die. I'm not gonna go to this place yet because we're gonna go back up here because we want to go to stuff. Oh wait, uh, I don't even need the bridge. I'm gonna go through here. Blight Town. Second and last time we're ever gonna see Blight Town. Only we're not uh, even gonna do anything here, we're just gonna run through. And I'm gonna kill this guy, hopefully and not die. And I was hoping he'd get staggered, but he didn't. And that's shit. Now we got staggered. Do you even have any moss clumps? No, I don't. Lol. Why did I forget the dumb guy? He always drops brown clay. He only drops brown clay. There's nothing else they drop. Oh, I actually do. Ah, oh, fucking, I'm gonna tank it anyway. And if I die, then so shall it be. Goodbye. I know it's really early to use the fast, but I don't know. I have so many of them. Okay, I got on here. Go down here and pass that really freakish looking guy. Might as well just kill him. There we go. On heal. I can I can jump down there, but I don't just want to rocket off the edge and die for nothing. 
Unless I know I can make it like this. Oh no, I didn't even have to climb down this ladder, but whatever. Where is it? Oh, it's over there. Simple. A little premature Astros flask. I was gonna go over to this bonfire, maybe? And oh, no, I can't even warp to it anyway. No, I'm not gonna do it. Okay, if you run through this and keep changing your uh, weapons, you actually can keep up running speed because every time you change your, your stance, you actually generate a tiny bit of endurance. Which means you can actually make it through all this place while running without losing your endurance. Or you can just shit on it and just fucking roll through all the way. It's just faster, but it drains your endurance all the way. I don't know, I don't think it doesn't matter a whole lot. Okay, on this place. Who likes domain? Oh yeah, she's dead. Don't want you to fucking get close to me, I don't have one of these items that removes parasite eggs. Oh yeah, I remember Quilak? She was like the second boss we fought in the entire game. After Gargoyles, maybe? I don't know. Or did we kill Sif before her? I don't know. I know we killed her really early. Oh yeah, and Asylum Demon, he doesn't fucking count. So now that we're in here, I know there's uh, this, this bonfire at Quilan. We killed her, so it's not there anymore because she's the firekeeper. So yeah, the bonfire is not on. It was for here and set. Sorry, guys, still there, next to the burned out bonfire. Isn't that sad? No, it's not. Fuck this guy. What well, does matter? Because we have this bonfire. Okay, listen up. We're gonna fight Ceaseless Discharge. Oh, I still have my crossbow on there. We're gonna fight Ceaseless Discharge with absolutely nothing. If you already know about this, it's pretty cool. And you probably won't be really on like, yeah, yeah, of course. But I think this is one of the coolest parts of the game if you don't know what's up. So, yeah, we're gonna fight Ceaseless Discharge, the next boss. Like this. And I actually should have fought this boss back when, after I killed Quilag. Should have done that. But I forgot about it. It doesn't It doesn't matter anyway, since we're gonna fight like this anyway. So this is the chance right now is uh, dormant, he's not really doing anything, he's just it's staring like uh, So we just run past him and this is altar there with some items and if you pick up the items the fight's gonna start. And I'm gonna beat him like this. I don't know, if it might actually fail but whatever. Okay, go for it. Wait for his arm. There goes the arm and go. I run past these along these edges. And he's gonna be like, fuck! I can't hit you! Nah! And now he's gonna be sad. And he's gonna be really sad. Uh, but he's got an idea. And his idea is, yeah, I, I'm just gonna. I'm gonna walk, not really walk, I'm gonna sidle along the edge and I'm gonna jump over to this guy and then fucking hit him in the face, okay? He's gonna jump over to me and hit me in the face. I, he actually can walk. He's gonna jump over to me and hit me in the face. Only problem is, shit, he's actually hanging on to the edge. And he's got problems now, so we just attack his arm, 
he loses grip, he falls down, he's dead. Victory! Because hanging on to a net is not really the best thing to do because, you know, see, he, he was able to walk over there, but just like, yeah, that's a sad guy. Come on, two-handed, there you go.